This week, we wrapped up our stay in Tucson. We spent our last day hiking around Golden Gate Mountain, where we saw teddy bear choya, choya means head, staghorn choya, and palo verde trees. Okay, don't move. There's still one in there. Don't move. Okay. The next day, we hit the road and stayed for the first time at a truck stop. There was a little grocery store and even some Indian food inside the gas station. Toby said there's Indian food in this little gas station. I feel like gas station Indian food is very risky, but we love Indian food, so we're gonna give it a try. Why not? Tuesday took us back through New Mexico and on to the outskirts of El Paso, Texas, where we stayed at a rest stop for the first time. Both Toby and I remarked at how good it felt to be back in Texas. We almost moved to Dallas a few years ago, but got cold feet about the hot summers and chose Colorado instead. But we do love the vibe here and the friendly, well-mannered people. That evening, I turned off the heat since it doesn't get cold in Texas. Our RV was 37 degrees when we woke up the next morning. Oops. We had been meaning to check out a camping world and today was the day. All this camping themed stuff is so adorable. <laughs> that is so cute. After a few days in El Paso, we figured it was time to explore. We drove downtown to go for a walk. We are right at the border. That is Mexico. Downtown was not what we were expecting. It was dark, shut down, run down, and empty, apart from the typical characters. We skipped the walk and got out of there. We gave El Paso the benefit of the doubt and tried again in the daytime. It wasn't much better. We tried to go to a rose garden, but it was closed. We tried to go to a sculpture garden, but it looked like it was just somebody's house with a few sculptures in their yard. So then we went up to a scenic overlook. That was nice. Also, Toby said the drivers in El Paso are so far the worst drivers he's ever encountered. Drivers in Colorado who make terrible decisions will nine times out of 10 have Texas plates, so we weren't too surprised. Saturday, we were back on the road heading east. We stocked up on fresh water and groceries, knowing towns would be few and far between for the next few days. Stay tuned next week to see where the road takes us.